Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We all know what is the importance of a configuration file in an automation project. In case you are not sure how do we create a configuration file, you can watch a video in the channel. I will put the link in the description. In that video, I am describing how we can use a configuration file in a sequence or a flowchart. That video demonstrates that how we can utilize the configuration part and the init all settings from the robotics enterprise template and implement in any of the processes. Now let us see the agenda for this video. In this video, we are going to quickly demonstrate why exactly we require a configuration file. Post that what we are going to see is why to why not to keep the data config in the data folder so in the previous demonstration of this channel and if you are familiar with the robotics enterprise template as well you will see the configuration file is located inside a folder called data and the data folder is inside the project location whenever we publish the nugget the data folder goes along to the nugget now in this video we are going to see what are the challenges we face when the configuration file is a part of the nugget which is deployed to the orchestrator how can we pull the config out of the data folder and store it in a, some other location if we are doing so what are the changes and the settings that i have to do in my code and in the orchestrator to get this change implemented and after that we are going to see what are the benefits we get by putting the config out of the data folder and storing it somewhere else I am in my UiPath studio I have a project open in front of me which is a robotics enterprise framework project so if I go to the project we have something called a data and inside the data we have something called a configuration file I have one more project open in front of me which is a linear process and we have implemented just the configuration part from the robotics enterprise framework so if you will see in the project again we have a folder called data we have a file called config file and we have invoked only this XAML which we were able to successfully use reuse from the robotics enterprise framework now if you are not sure how do we use the configuration file in and sequence and a flowchart how can we use the configuration file from the robotics enterprise framework and what are the settings we have to do I have a video on my channel I'll put the link in the description and you can refer that now what is the objective of this video now if you will see this configuration file both in the robotics enterprise template and any of the process for that matter it's always available in the project folder inside the data so I have a process in front of me what that process is doing in the configuration file what we have done if I just open the configuration file you will see it is opening the ACME URL it is getting the credential from the orchestrator and it is scraping the data some data from the ACME site and storing the data in a file which is this one so this is the complete file name of the file which is given right so now let us see what is the problem with this structure now as of now if you will see this looks good right so we have made everything configurable now let us see what is the problem here so I will quickly go ahead and publish this process to the orchestrator let me go ahead and publish this so this is version 1.0.2 let me go ahead and publish let us wait for the package to get deployed okay it's deployed the version is 1.0.2 let me go to the orchestrator and in the automations this is already here if I go here and view the process so we should have a new number now so this one 1.0.2 is available let us upgrade okay okay it's updated let us go back to the jobs so okay this is updated now to run the process I can always go here and click on this run button now let us see what exactly this process is doing so if I go here and click on the start button so as of now this is a simple process the command is sent to the ACME site it will soon trigger a UI uh, this Internet Explorer okay so it will key in the credential for user ID and the password this user ID and password is again coming from the asset which is available in the configuration file now it will scrape the data and it has closed the eye that means the process was successful okay so now what is the problem with this structure so now if I go to the are you sure you want to okay this is some message so if I go to the location this was the location which I have specified and the file is created and the data is successfully scraped now if I ask you that I need some of the modification I don't want this asset so as of now if I go to the assets so this is the asset 
now what if i change this asset name from acme credential to let's say acme credential new and we have let's say assuming that we have updated the password here update okay now one more change i have received from the business that we don't want the file to be saved with this name data config name we want the file to be saved as acme data right so where do we have to change so now two updates i have made i have changed the credential asset and i want to have this thing with a new name now what as a developer we should do right we will go back to the process we'll open the config file here configuration file let us open okay and we will do the changes here so this is the credential we'll update this guy with this paste and then we have to change the uh, file name also and the path name also and we want to have it with the acme data right so i can stay see here acme data i will save this file close this and now i have what i have to do is i have to again republish the changes to the orchestrator so i have to again make a version of 1.0.3 and publish okay so now 1.0.3 is published we have accommodated the changes and the config is available in the uh, this one and we have do the changes now if i'll trigger the process it runs successfully now think of a real world automation where you have as of now i only have three fields but in the real world automation this configuration file can be a much more larger file right so we could have data in all the tabs we could have constants we could have settings we could have delays now every time it is not feasible to change the uh, config and deploy a new process to the orchestrator right so every time i cannot do the small change and then publish to the orchestrator so this is a problem statement what we are trying to address here now let me rephrase the problem statement we have a configuration file which is available in the data and the config location whenever we publish the project to the orchestrator this file is inside the nugget and whenever some changes are there we have to again republish the code right so is there a other solution right so yes there is a solution what is the solution we can put this configuration file outside this project right so how can we do that so what we can do is instead of having this config file inside the data i can have a different shared location or a different shared path where this config can be located so how can we do that okay so this is very simple assuming that this is the process and this is the config so let me just go to the project folder i will just open this folder and i will just cut the config from this path and i will paste the config in the temp path now this temp path can be your share drive okay this is open let me just close try again so now this temp can be any of the business location any of the share drive you can have it anywhere right so assuming that i have kept the config and now this path this is my documents path and this is not the project path and here i have kept the config now what are the changes that i have to do in the this template now in the invoke all settings this is init all settings this is provided by the rd framework in the import arguments we have something called path right so where we are passing the path now we have to just update this path with the path where we have kept the config right so this is the path so if i go here and copy this path control a control c let me go back to this and till here i will paste it here and save it now this solves a problem pretty much but when again we are landing into one more problem so what is that problem what happens that if i want to change this path right what happens if i want to this path is not accessible or something xyz happens to the path and i want to change this path i want my config to have at a different path how can i do that now again i have to change the nugget so is there a better solution yes there is what can i do is i can always come back to my orchestrator i will go to the assets okay i will create a new asset okay i will create an asset called acme config acme config path okay let it be of type text and instead of hard coding the configuration path in the init all settings i will just copy this path and i will put it in the text value here like this so and here i will just specify acme config path 
now what I am doing here is this is Acme a type of uh, asset text type of asset and I am passing the config path here and I will create it now in the orchestrator what I have done is I have created a Acme config path so now instead of giving the path to the init all setting directly what I will do is I will take an activity called the asset which is called the get asset I will drag and drop it here the asset name so if I uh, go to the asset name the asset name is Acme config path I will go here specify the asset name Acme config path and what is the value I will hit control plus K and create a variable called let's say config path okay so it's a string so let us do it like this str underscore config path okay so str underscore config path is a type of string and now in the invoke all settings xaml what we have to do is we have to just pass the config path the str config path that's it now what is the dependency we have removed right we have moved the config out of the data folder and we can just remove this from here uh, you can okay, let us just delete it from here we have already placed it here right so we have removed the config from the data folder we have placed the config in a different location in a temp location and this location again is not hard coded this is again getting passed as an asset now what is the benefit we get here now in future if I have to make any of the changes to the config I can easily go here and go to this path and if this path changes I don't have to change anything in the code right I just come here and update the path okay uh, this guy so let us try to execute the process and see if everything is working fine okay cancel I have just press control s that's why so many pop-ups so let us do some of the changes and verify what are the changes we have done in the config so now the config is in the temp folder and we have specified the new so now when we run the process instead of getting the data when we last time trigger the data we are getting this file now if I am able to get a file by this name acmedata.xlsx we are okay right so let me close everything go back to the orchestrator and I hope I have okay we have not published these changes right so let me go ahead and publish these changes the nugget version is 1.04 it's building the package it's deployed to the orchestrator let me go back to the orchestrator and in the automations it's still at 1.2 let us go to the view process and update it to the new new one this one 1.0.4 make sure you select the correct version of the processes you can just take an idea from the publish time and the target number okay it's updated and whenever I go to the jobs you will see this is the version which is going to run so if I go here and trigger the process and this is my robot start now two changes we have made we have ch made changes to the asset name and we have made changes to the file path as well okay so the robot is triggered it has it will now open the ACME site and now it should get the credential from the new asset right so it is successfully able to get the credential hit login download the daily appointment now it will scrape the data and now if I just go back to the temp folder we should have a new data with the file right so we have a new data called ACME data if I just open it okay so I have all the data which was available on the portal so that means we were successfully able to get the config out of the data folder we were successfully able to place it anywhere on the different location and then in the orchestrator what we have done is we have made one new asset which was just to store the configuration path now what is the benefit i get here whenever there is a some change in the config i can easily go to this location update the configuration file i don't have to update the nugget and what happens if the share drive is changing i have to just come here and edit it and just I can update this path now as uh, advice it is always good to have the backup of the configuration file whichever shared path you are take uh, putting the configuration file make sure that it is not accessible to everyone and it is only accessible to the person or the business who can make the changes to the configuration file because this is the heart of your automation and if anything goes wrong with the configuration file the automation will fail
okay so that brings us to end of this video let us have a quick recap so in this video we have seen how can we keep the configuration file in any other location and not in the data folder and what are the settings that we have to do in the init all settings to accommodate changes we have also seen how we can create an asset in the orchestrator that is able to accommodate the path of the configuration file and what are the changes that we have to do and what are the benefits that we get by using the configuration file outside the nugget so thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation